British nationals in Lebanon, this is your warning. Leave immediately, as fighting between Israel and Hezbollah escalates. Prime Minister Keir Starmer has urged UK citizens to evacuate the country as the situation worsens by the hour. Speaking from New York, where he's attending the UN General Assembly, Prime Minister Starmer emphasized the urgency of the situation, saying the UK is ramping up contingency plans for evacuations. He highlighted the importance of being prepared for any eventuality, stressing that the safety of British nationals is the top priority. Now is the time to leave, he said, urging all British citizens in Lebanon to take immediate action. He reiterated that the situation is becoming increasingly volatile and unpredictable. As the Ministry of Defence prepares 700 troops in nearby Cyprus to assist British nationals, Starmer assured that the government is doing everything in its power to facilitate a safe and orderly evacuation. With the conflict spreading across Lebanon, the urgency of the situation cannot be overstated. The escalating violence is putting countless lives at risk, and the UK government is closely monitoring the developments. The UK government is advising against all travel to the country, issuing a stern warning to its citizens. Those who are currently in Lebanon are strongly encouraged to leave while commercial options are still available. The government warns of the rapid deterioration of conditions on the ground, emphasizing that the window for safe departure is closing quickly. British nationals are urged to heed the advice and make arrangements to leave immediately, as the situation could worsen at any moment. Uh, Lebanon's health minister described the situation as carnage, a word that barely captures the sheer scale of the devastation. Hospitals are struggling to manage the hundreds of casualties pouring in, with medical staff working around the clock, overwhelmed by the sheer number of injured. These casualties are the result of two days of relentless Israeli airstrikes targeting Hezbollah strongholds, leaving a trail of destruction and despair. Over 560 people have reportedly been killed in the latest round of airstrikes, a number that is tragically expected to rise as rescue operations continue. Emergency workers are tirelessly retrieving bodies from the rubble and the death toll continues to rise, painting a grim picture of the humanitarian crisis unfolding in Lebanon. Meanwhile, the UK military is on high alert with Royal Navy ships in the Eastern Mediterranean and Royal Air Force helicopters on standby, ready to aid in evacuation efforts if needed. Prime Minister Starmer expressed deep concern over the escalating tensions and the risk of a broader Middle Eastern conflict. He emphasized the urgent need for diplomatic efforts to prevent further violence and instability in the region. Starmer called for an immediate ceasefire, urging all parties involved to come to the negotiation table and work towards a peaceful resolution. But for now, the message to British nationals in Lebanon remains clear, evacuate while you can. The government is prioritizing the safety of its citizens and has arranged for evacuation flights to bring them home. This is a fast developing crisis with new developments unfolding rapidly. The situation on the ground is volatile and unpredictable. Stay safe and stay informed. Keep an eye on official updates and follow the guidance provided by authorities to ensure your safety during these uncertain times.